Uh, before we recess, Mr. Goff, you had a matter for the court. Yes, Your Honor. Over the lunch recess, uh, my understanding is, can I have notes? Your Honor, um, during the lunch recess, uh, co-counsel uh, had an opportunity to look outside at what was going on, and uh, there are some matters that need to be placed on the record. One moment, John. Sorry, Mr. Brown. No, 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 you're good. You're good. Uh, I'm not using any of that stuff. Your Honor, protesters, uh, whether they were the Black Panther group or, or some other group, uh, were behind the barriers in, in front of the courthouse. There was a truck carrying a coffin with the names of the defendants on it. Um, at least one of these groups, I believe it was the Black Panther group, is referenced in the motion filed this morning that their specific objective uh, was to influence the proceedings in this case. Um, I don't know whether they intended to scare the defendants, but I have co-counsel uh, with a small child who was scared to death. Um, large weapons, apparently automatic weapons, uh, were seen outside uh, the courthouse. Uh, and, you know, given everything else that's already transpired in this case, we believe at this point that it's appropriate for us to renew the motion for mistrial. This court has gone to great lengths to give these defendants a fair trial, um, but the security precautions that were in place, despite the sheriff's best efforts and your honor's best efforts, uh, <laughs> we've now got people claim to be violent driving around the courthouse with coffins with our clients names on them with semi or fully automatic weapons I mean I'm not sure that this is no longer a figurative mob this is a literal mob uh, and inevitably the proceedings uh, despite best efforts are tainted we, we would move from this trial if they Uh, you know, our, our position again is if the jury has been exposed to it, yes, we would be gravely concerned and we would need them to let the court know that they've seen it and it's had any influence on them. Short of that, if, if, it's, if it's folks exercising their First Amendment rights outside and our jury is unaware of it, then we're okay. And I would agree with Mr. Hogue. That, that, that's what I was going to say. And, and I would, one more thing. To make sure in this most important trial that the jurors are not being exposed to these matters, I would ask the court to affirmatively uh, question them altogether, to remind them, to bring it to your attention or the, or the court um, deputy's attention if they have encountered it or been contacted in any way. They ask that you deny the motion for mistrial. We leave it to the discretion of the court. Yeah, the court's again denying the mistrial. I've indicated um, previously um, and mentioned to counsel that uh, I, I agree with the concern that is out there uh, I, with regard to the jurors having uh, exposure to anything that may be going on outside. I, not I, whatever may be going on outside. I have it has not been brought to my attention on a security level. Um, again, individuals have a right to be outside the courthouse. Uh, I agree with Mr. Hogue that um, the court needs to keep a very close eye on uh, whether or not whatever may be going on outside the courthouse has any influence upon the jury, and the court has taken steps to ensure that the jury is insulated from uh, anything going on around the courthouse so that they can focus on their business before the court which would be to uh, consider the evidence presented as well as the arguments of counsel, and I will continue to endeavor to do so. The court talked with the jury bailiff at all and, and also keeping lines of communication up with the jury bailiff so that she would say, Judge, there's some murmurs or there's some things being spoken. Is she keeping an active ear out for the court? I don't, without getting into detail, I will tell you that the court uh, <coughs> is, tr 
I'm trying to stay apprised of whatever may be going on with the jury. Uh, as far as what's going on outside, that that's up to whoever's outside making sure that everything's okay. But as far as this jury is concerned and what may, may be going on that may affect the proceedings in this courtroom, uh, yes, I have um, tried to ensure that I'm at least aware of anything uh, that may be important enough to affect the proceedings, and if something did happen, uh, I would probably be bringing it to everybody's attention uh, because I think it would be important for counsel to know.